every drummer wants to increase their speed, be it the speed of their hands or the speed of their foot, because there are a lot of things you cannot do on the drums if you don't have a certain level of agility, which is something that can make you a faster drummer. But then, there's a particular thing that is very important that seems to be left out most times, which is actual flexibility around the drum kit. And today, without wasting much time, I'm going to be showing you guys some exercises that I did that helped me increase and improve my flexibility around the kit. And in fact, guys, I'm making this a challenge. Do this for the next 10 to 14 days, that's two weeks. And trust me, you're going to have very incredible results after that duration. But well, that doesn't mean you're going to stop after 14 days. We're going to continue. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to be doing today is the single stroke six. That's six single strokes. We're going to be playing it around the drums, from the snare to the flotum. And it's going to help us improve our flexibility. So this is how it sounds. You get, so very gradually, Please don't forget the most important thing I will always say, don't go after speed, go after clarity and the right techniques. The reason why I'm doing this exercise that gets in the whole body involved is because when you focus on speed just for your hands, you tend to work out just your wrist and your fingers sometimes. But we forget that we have other joints. We have the fingers, we have the wrist, we have the elbow and we have the shoulders. All these things work together. And if you're only fast with your wrists, you're going to be stiff. You can't move your elbows and your shoulders around the drums. You get so let's Take that a little notch higher, make sure you practice at the slow pace for a long time and then we increase the speed. Now a little bit faster. So that is it, but try your best to, you know, be very gradual when you are swerving from your flotum back to the snare. That place is quite tricky. That's why I say start off very slowly, because if you can't play it slow, if you try it fast, you might get yourself injured. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is the same six, in fact. But now we're placing the first two notes on the rack tom, keeping this four, the remaining four, on the snare drum. You get, and we're going to have two variations of that, but this is the first variation. So the reason for this is... I've always said this in my previous videos, whenever there's a movement between, you know, going up to the rack tom, coming back to the snare drum, it's a little bit difficult to do. So this exercise is going to help you, you know, get better at that. You see, that's a serious workout. So the next thing we can do now is we can now try the same thing between this storm and our floor storm. This is how it sounds. So the thing is, please, as I've said before, be very, very gradual. Don't look at how I'm doing this and try to do it if you've not done it before. Take your time, do it for a long period of time. Now, the next one we're going to be doing, the third one, is something Eric Moore does. If you watched when Eric Moore was on a tour with um, Eric Ramosati, I don't know the guys, I don't want to pronounce the name properly, but he always had a few he always used to start. Sounded something like this. <laughs> So he plays it as a feel, but then I saw that as a serious exercise that you can use to improve your flexibility around the kit. So let's work on that as an exercise.
So take that leak very gradually, very, very gradually. It doesn't come overnight. You know, you have to also get your, your foot working properly. And the next thing we're going to be working on today is this exercise I came up with, my own personal exercise. It works like crazy. And this is what it looks like. Reason for this exercise is so that you can get that anything that has to do with switch. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do crossover. So make sure you stick to the end. So anything that has to make with, do with your hands flying over, yeah. So that's what we're going to work on. Um, so just so we don't leave this thumb here out of the phone, we can also do the same thing, but now we put the first two notes on the second thumb and the last two notes on the floor thumb. So we have something that sounds like this. So the next thing we're going to be doing now is crossovers. Crossovers are essential because crossovers help you to learn how to, you know, have that swerving over from any part of the drum to the other part that is very distant. So you see drummers do things like... Um... So I'll give you guys a basic crossover exercise that's going to help you increase your flexibility around the drums. So what is going on here is basically... So take the ascents and put it on this one. So your right hand is always going above your left hand. Now you can put your hand around every other thumb. So you have... So if you want me to make another video explaining crossovers and showing you how you can use crossovers to do crazy drum solos, you know, sheds and playing amazing chops, drop a comment requesting so and check this video right here.